Hey guys, Decap13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, we did some free battles. Uh, what else did we do? Free battles. Uh, that, that's the part I remember the most, so we're just going to say we did that. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we're going to move on to the end of the month today. Uh, but we do have some support conversations to do. We actually have three. I was wrong last time. I missed one. We also have one between Sedeth and Felix. So let's do Sedeth and Annette, rank A, part one. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. Annette, are you just blowing up everything in the library? A flash, and then a big boom. If you blow up the library, where will we put the books? A flash and then a big bang! What are you doing here, Felix? I heard singing. You were watching me again, weren't you? You shouldn't dance up there. You could fall. Oh, today of all days. I knew I should have chosen a different song. A different song? Like what? <sighs> Any of them. The box song, or maybe the dungeon song? The box song? Now those sound interesting. <laughs> no, they're just regular songs. Uh, forget it. <sighs> While you're here, can you help me clean up? I need the books on that shelf up there, but I can't reach them. Oh, sure, no problem. What, you're not going to sing anymore? <laughs> no way! It's too embarrassing. And that song isn't even finished anyway. Ah, that's too bad. I wanted to hear what happened after the library was blown away. Hey, don't look at me like that. Okay, fine. If you insist, I'll sing just a bit more. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. <laughs> a flash, and then a big boom. Suddenly the deed is done. My. What a great job I did. Who says cleaning isn't fun? Huh. That doesn't really explain what happened with the library. Maybe they'll build a new one? <laughs> oh, this is so <laughs> embarrassing. Oh, th th this support has easily turned into one of the most adorable fucking things. I, I feel like I say that every support combo we watch, but this one really is so fucking cute. Felix and Annette are great. Alright, we also have Felix and Seteth. Hello, Felix. Training alone again, I see. Spying on me again, I see. It is not my intention to spy. I am merely concerned about you. I do not think you have been keeping your friends at a distance because you dislike them personally. Rather, I think what bothers you is their concept of proper knighthood. Is that not so? <laughs> you really have been watching me closely. You are correct. I don't understand why they revere knighthood. I won't be friends with anyone who believes in that nonsense. Do you feel that way because of what happened in the tragedy of Dusker? I have heard the story. Your brother was one of the royal knights. He gave his life to defend the prince. My brother was doing his job. My father is the real problem. When my brother's armor was brought back to the castle, do you know what he said? He died like a true knight. Chivalry begets the worship and glorification of death. Am I alone in finding that grotesque? <laughs> I suppose you'll excommunicate me for blaspheming like this. Not at all. I am not a knight, so I have no intentions of lecturing you about chivalry. So long as one's conduct is consistent with the teachings of the goddess, it is up to the individual to decide right from wrong. In that case, I'd like you to formally pardon me for not having friends. You require no such pardon. This is merely advice from an old man to a younger one. As unwavering as your convictions may be, the others also feel strongly about their beliefs. If you hate all those whose beliefs are different from yours, you will hate everyone eventually. People with exactly the same beliefs as you simply do not exist. You do not have to change your beliefs, of course. But you do have to accept that others feel differently. That is my advice to you. I will speak no more of it. Sedith, 
Can I ask one thing? Why are you going out of your way to tell me this? Why bother with me at all? Because I trust you. Now that I've heard what you have to say, I trust you even more. I am also a rather eccentric person. I thought you and I might get along. I see. You've gone to so much trouble. I may have to start making an effort as well. Good. Do not take this the wrong way, but... I hope you will surpass my expectations. That was nice. Okay, and we have Ingrid and Seteth. Ingrid, are you familiar with the story of the King of Liberation and the Ten Elites of Fodlin? Of course. They were the heroes who struck down evil with the power of the sacred weapons, protecting our land and people. Their strength was passed down through the ages, manifesting itself in the crest some of us are born with. Yes, the Ten Elites certainly possessed great power. But does that make them worthy of worship? I imagine you ask because they later fought amongst themselves, turning on one another, ravaging the land. Precisely. Initially, Nemesis and the Ten Elites worked together to bring peace to Fodlan. But soon their ambitions got the best of them, and they clashed, using their sacred weapons on anyone they chose, strong and weak alike. What I mean to say is, possessing strength alone does not make one worthy of respect. Rather, one should be judged by how they choose to use that strength. Yes, I agree. If you follow that logic, then you will see it also applies to those who are born with crests. Now think of how your father wishes to wed you to another family's fortune on the basis of your crest. Yes? What of it? These are purely inherited qualities. Is it not foolish to judge a person's value by some inherited fortune? That is all a crest is, really. That's what I think, too. Having a crest or not has no bearing on your worth as a person. I understand that Count Galatea believes he has the right to manage your affairs. I am certain he has his own share of problems. And I do not wish to meddle or lay blame. But if there is anything I should like to say to his daughter, it is this. How you live your life is up to you. Thank you for your counsel and wisdom, Seveth. I've been thinking a lot lately about what might happen after the war. I will take some time to reflect on what lies ahead. My future. All right. Uh, let me check my skills again. I have everything at C except for heavy armor, riding, and flying. So it might be in my best interest to just explore and get those things uh, taught to me that way. Oh, Catherine's back. Hmm. Professor. Hey, Professor. It's been a while. Well, actually not that long. If you're here about the reinforcements, no need to worry. I've sorted everything out with my father. If the Alliance agrees to chip in as well, we might have a real chance at victory. Good to know. All right. Talk to you, Word if they did I hear. Sylvain. What about I suppose we should and Rod Rieger up here. I didn't see them before. Let's see. I've got to keep this place clean. And I mean properly clean. Every day. Dust it, sweep it, everything. You never can tell when Lady Rhea might be back. Oh, you can teach me riding. Good.
Oh, I'm in your cape, Rodrigue. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Professor. Sorry, I, I was a little lost in thought there. About all that has happened and all that is to come. I'm sure the battles ahead will not be easy. But please, take good care of His Highness. Circum I am great. There is still more to learn. Uh, I have to go to the greenhouse while I'm at it. In the library. Each time we pray, I search if I'm right. This experience. Alright, at least I have everything at a D rank now. Catherine has successfully convinced Count Karen. However, the knights we sent to the Alliance have yet to return. That's not good. There is still more to learn. Anyway, even considered. And to finish it off, let's go to the dining hall. people I could really teach. I guess I can't teach anyone else because no, yeah, no one else has the motivation for it. Oh well. Yes. I'm really getting it. Perhaps I'll expand the scope of my research. Ward arrow. Let's see what that does. that prevents the enemy from using magic. It's pretty good. I'll explore again. Let's get our tutoring out of the way. What about... I suppose we... If they just I hear. To do. Uh, my 
thanks. You have circum. I am great. Certain if I'm right. That really plus I'm flying. Oh. Catherine at the night. Armor. So you finish that off. Even can this experience. Who else do I want to talk to for? I'm already forgetting who I talked to for this shit. All right, Cyril. You can teach me riding as well. I've got it. Never. All right. Well, I'm getting closer to my goal of having a C rank and everything. So that way, I can just unlock this shit when I get to a new, uh, new game plus. Let's go with Seth and uh, yeah, to do why not. Flavor it. I like. All right. There's quite a bit of fog settling in. Oh, great fog! We won't be able to advance our troops very far in this. We won't be able to move at all until the fog lifts. No matter which path we take, we'll have to be patient and wait it out. Gilbert? No. Gustav. I would like to take this opportunity to speak with you about something. It's about the tragedy of Dusker. There's something about it I just can't wrap my head around. I'm listening. I lost a son in Dusker that day. I exhausted every last resource I had to investigate what took place there. I was startled to find that there wasn't a single shred of evidence to suggest that Lady Patricia's carriage had been attacked. Huh. Go on. Apart from His Highness, whose injuries left him on the verge of death, everyone else present at the time was slaughtered. Of all the victims, only the corpse of Lady Patricia, His Majesty's second wife, was never found. Isn't that right? Hmm. Surely that means she was abducted. There was no evidence of an attack. Suggesting they threatened her, but did not kill her. But what reason would they have to take her? Would it not have been better to kill her? Perhaps she had some value as a diplomatic pawn. Nonsense. In the many years since that day, has Lady Patricia ever been used thus? No, not as far as I know. Then perhaps she was used for some political gain within the Empire. Now that her daughter is the Emperor, what reason would she have to keep hiding her existence? It is possible she passed away after returning to the Empire. Or it's possible that Patricia is responsible for it. Gustav, I know this is hard for you to hear, but just consider what it would mean if Lady Patricia was involved with that incident. Silence, Rodrigue. I will not allow you to tarnish her memory like that. I do not mean to imply that she arranged His Majesty's murder or anything of the like. But Gustav, I cannot shake the feeling that the tragedy was part of a much larger conspiracy. There is more to it than we know. That much is certain. Rodrigue! Gilbert! Please hurry! What's going to on now? like this is inhuman. What? This is one of the knights we dispatched to the leader of the Alliance. Oh. Tell me everything you know. Sir, a soldier on patrol came across this night a short while ago. In a rocky area, not far from here. Someone from the Alliance must have disposed of the body there. Is this how the Alliance chose to inform us that they have no intention of joining our cause? 
Could Claude really have done this? The Alliance Lords each have their own motives. It's difficult to say for sure who was behind this. Whatever the truth is, the other knights we dispatched are in serious danger. It's best to assume that joining with the Alliance is out of the question now. Yeah. Even with Count Karen's support, this makes our situation grim. I never expected the Alliance to help us. Anyone who stands in my way will be crushed beneath my feet. It is time, dear brother. There's a lot of shit going on. Weapons are all up to snuff. Oh, that short spear is going to break soon. Yeah, everyone's weapons look all right. Yeah, let's go. All right, Lord Gronder. The Kingdom Army departs from the Great Bridge of Murden and marches south toward Enbar, the Imperial capital. Meanwhile, the Alliance army follows from behind to invade Imperial territory, and the Empire has dispatched forces from Fort Mercius to intercept them. The curtain is rising on a conflict between the three armies, which will come to be known as the Battle at Grandar, held on the same plains that witnessed the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I get to use all the units I want. Let's see, anyone we know here? Oh, there's Hubert. Demon, demon beasts. Oh, Petra. Oh, she's a sword of Zoltan. There's Edelgard with Aimer. So oh. Wasn't that... Didn't Raya use that? I don't like that that applies. Alright, so... Who's showing up on this side, then? Oh, Raphael, Lysithia, and Claude. Fail not? Hey, I know that from fate! Fallen Star. Fail not only avoids enemy attacks in next combat, effective against dragons. Oh, we gotta kill Lysithia and Raphael. I'm guessing it's gonna be. Defeat all enemy commanders. I mean, we could try to spare Petra and Hubert. Same with Raphael and Lysithia, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We just gotta beat Claude and Edelgard. Again, who knows if we're gonna be able to do that <laughs> without actually killing them. Or them killing each other. So hey, let's say.
Know that I will tear your heads from your shoulders. The dead must have their tribute. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. Years ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. Kill every last one of them! I can't get over how Edelgard's acting all sad about You're this one. This is really just all her fucking fault in the first place. Now, you are mine! The Kingdom Army doesn't look too interested in joining forces with us. Let's take a moment to see how this all unfolds. It would not be advantageous to take on both at once. We must stop the Kingdom and the Alliance from joining forces. I will create such chaotic warfare that they won't be able to tell who is friend and who is foe. Yeah, hey, fuck you, Edelgard. I I'm, I'm gunning straight for her, strategy. if I'm being I'll honest. Cut through. Fuck her. She on. has this coming. Guide me well. Maybe I'll kill Hubert, too. I am prepared. I don't mind taking him out. One to remember. I do this for all of us. Shall we? At your service. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Ready when you are. Always hitting the wrong buttons, John. More fighting. Thank you. And archers over here is just soldiers. Mounted units, advance. What I get inflicted with? I don't know what that is. Not stray. You defeat me. Spare Petra. She's probably gonna come advancing towards us. So that's gonna be all for naught. Don't struggle. I disposed of doubt long ago. I've improved. I could learn from that.
to remember. Predictable. Not that time. That's enough! Never let your guard down. Fine work. I gotta look out for Hubert. He's gonna do some damage to Seth. You saved me. I'll wait with anger for now. Okay, he's the meteor. Alright, they got the fucking ballista. All talk and no action. Wait, that's it? Plus 30 to combat with a foe, two or more spaces away. Alright. Not really creeping up on them now. My troops are about to purge. You fought well. Okay, we're gonna take out I the Empire first. Less. I could try to send Bernie over to snipe Claude. Keep keep doing that. Let's see what happens. The center is in danger of being taken. We must be running to protect it. Petra, it was already taken. Alright, well, looks like I'm not gonna have much of a choice in not trying to kill Petra. It all comes down to this. Set it. You gotta stop getting hit by these 20%. Come on, dude. One to remember. Strength never. That's a good level. <laughs> the Empire and Kingdom are mixed up in this battle. It's a struggle to target the right one. Such are the rules of melee. We'll just have to crush anyone who isn't an ally. I guess Claude's troops are gonna start moving in now. Whoa. Great. I may not have a crest, but I'll give it my all. Oh, Leone. I guess that's supposed to be Hilda if you didn't recruit her. Alright, so Claude's gonna start moving around now. I might just wait until he gets a little closer so I can have Bernadetta snipe him. So I don't have to kill anyone from the Golden Eagles. Golden Lions! Fuck, why can I not get the goddamn name right? Gonna be a struggle to take out Hubert. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go with the Killer Lance. I can always heal with uh, Mercedes if I need to. Interfering with the plan. Looks like I'll just have to get rid of you. This ends now. Bye, Hubert. Oh, of course he just retreats. Fighting on will endanger my life. Your Majesty, I must withdraw. Yeah, all right, you fucking bitch. No need to worry. We still have some troops left. So long as I stand, we won't give up. Ooh, I realized I may have put uh, Ingrid in some. Su okay, good. That 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 beast can't get to her.
he's gonna get targeted by that demon beast. I'm fine with that though. Right, we're gonna have to take one of those things out. It was meant to be. I don't want to. We have to take out Petra. She's just gonna come at us. Ooh. Oh boy. Ooh, wow. Uh. Huh. Christ, Petra. Your, uh, your void is really good, huh? Well, Dimitri, I guess it's up to you. For Adrestia and for Bridget, I will be defeating all of you. I'll destroy you. Okay. Oh, I guess no one dies here. They just retreat. I can't be fighting anymore. I must be retreating now. All right. So I don't have to worry about sparing anyone then. Don't worry. You must live on to lead your people. Those fools who went up the hill will pay with their lives ah, in the shit. crimson flame. I have fuck you, Edelgard. Fucking bitch. Yeah, the dude, you just take him. I guess it's nice. Well, she got her own guys in that. Still, fuck her. Don't struggle. Too weak for this world. All talk and no action. Now. Okay, the cave is activated, which is good. I guess I'm getting attacked. I got hit by everything. Claude's moving in. It's kind of dangerous to have. Dead, I got my hair. Ineffective. We're really not prepared to fight on this front, are we? I sent everyone over to fight the Empire and did not think about the Alliance. Well, shit. Had I lamppost shield nullifies extra damage against cavalry units. I'll have to give that to uh. I'm using a cavalry, am I? Shit. <laughs> oh, that's that's uh. Oh, that's fucking awful. Well, the ballista I'm not taking damage on. So I guess I'll just stand here. Bernadette, you are going to wait here. You're gonna help out the do. I'll be home again soon. Oh, cool, 22%. Well, she's the only one who can go after him. I mean, her.
Okay. It's win or die. No, no big deal. We're okay. Maybe. Just because I know you. Sorry, but that's war. Don't hit Leonie, please. Damn it. Oh, Leonie's just dead. Okay. I did what I could, Captain Gerald. Okay, so I guess the people from the Alliance fucking die. Leonie fell? Did I underestimate the enemy? Ooh, we are gonna get fucked up by these guys. I kinda hope they retreat when Claude dies. Please. gonna hope on 63 hitting wait why is it do right I healed her what why did I fucking do that <laughs> yeah cuz she's not gonna kill now right, how many I, I have eight charges be careful I mean I, I could just keep resetting until I get good RNG for a hit on a Claude <laughs> so sad that our reunion should take place on the battlefield Too easy. Well, someone say cheese. Be careful. So sad that our union should take place on the battlefield. So close. <laughs> this is really stupid. <laughs> Be careful. Come on! I am prepared. to be done. Wow. Amazing. Who's Claude targeting? Oh, me. I'm probably gonna fucking die. What's my strategy? No, I'm definitely gonna fucking die. Alright, what if I use the fucking creator sword? Sublime Heaven would one-shot him. 
Uh, let's see what happens. So you're actually alive, Teach. It's a shame you aren't on our side. Anyway, isn't the Empire your enemy? Us fighting seems like a waste. Yeah, it does. So why are you fucking attacking us, Claude? Yeah, I, I thought we had a chance, but there was no way to predict the movements of the Kingdom Army. I can't afford to die here. I have to retreat. Son of a bitch, no one else does. What a load of fucking horse shit this is. I'm fu- I'm fucking dead! Yeah, I, I gotta rethink this fucking turn. Th th this turn's a Be fucking careful. disaster. my strategy are you kidding I can't get into the forest everyone else is gonna be able to though I am prepared I'll cut a path for his Highness I, I need to have everyone regroup the better this is this is looking real fucking bad I'm still gonna be attacked by Claw. Why did you damage? Okay. At your service. More fighting. Shall we? Guide me well. Yeah, great lines. I'll cut through. Ready when you are. Last was 72. Oh, yeah, that works. Prepare yourself. I aim for greatness. Not bad. That's one gone. Yeah, I can Felix take out this health bar. Then Dimitri can take out the next one. I'll comply. Yup. Too weak for this world. With each. I could learn from that. Alright, things got a little better. I said a little, not a lot. Oh, you're hacking anyway. Predictable. Oh, thank God that didn't hit. Okay, somehow my 60 landed, but okay. Italian desperation. Yeah, they're after us now. Oh, fuck me. 
Oh, I'm sad that I'm not to kill Isithia. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be upset about that. Ah, uh, damn it, now they have the fucking ballista. Oh, not Isithia, Raphael, I mean. I do this for all of us. You know what? I'll just take out Claude. So Alright, get out of here, buddy. I can't afford Like There's no be way you're gonna here. beat me. I'm sorry, Raphael. Blood. Take care of my little sis. And the Alliance. Really wish I had referred to them. Oh right, I gotta watch out for Anal Guard. All right, I have a jab one on you. Maybe. Next try. I got you figured Thank out. Thank you, Ingrid. You took me lightly. Now someone use seal movement on Dimitri. Son of a bitch. This could turn the tides. They said not bad. Oh, they're going to bombard. Damn it. Bad moves at the ass now. Yeah. Oh. Still here. Oh shit! I'm not thinking. Lysithia, oh, you are dangerous. At your service. Ah! Guide me well. Shall we? What's your res? 8 compared to Felix's 14? Uh, yeah, you're gonna super fucking die then. Attack speed 24. 12. Oh, 12. I mean, she's not double ass. That, that's just one straight hit of 45. What is your attack? 62! Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's, that's cool. I am prepared. What the fuck is your attack range, Lysithia? Nah, just don't even be in the rest. I don't want to do that. Alright. Don't expect me to go easy on you, because I won't. Oh, thank God he just activated. Woo. Oh, that could have been very, very bad. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank fucking God for Felix. Look at all these archers. We need to take out the big threat, which is fucking Lysithia. Go away, you. I thought I 
be able to live just a little bit longer than this. Nineteen and fifteen would do what to her? Yes, her. All right, I'll I could cut through. just do this. So I'm worried about these assholes. All right, next. I'll comply. What's my strategy? I'm pretty sure with this, all of the Alliance students are either dead or on our side. Except for Claude. I'm strong. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. Oh boy. What a what a More fine fighting. fucking mess this shit is. These guys up. The one that's gonna attack Bernadetta. Only thorns left on this rose. Now you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to. Felix. Felix is taking two 16s. That won't kill him. I'm taking a 15. Alright. Look back! <laughs> Will this ever end? Allow me to demonstrate! Yeah. Oh, that hit another victory. Oh, playing got miracle. Yeah, boy. Dodge. Good job, Felix. Just going straight in. Dodge. Why did I dodge Master Felix? I fight and grow. Luck wasn't with you. Dimitri's killing Edelgard, so I mean, I, I might as well just save her for last then. All right, Dimitri, go at it. Stab your chest, break your neck, smash your head. I will allow you to choose your own death. I'm not interested in methods of dying. All that matters is when death takes place, not how. And I have no intention of dying today. Yeah, tell that to Dimitri and his what? Uh, his sure forty all times the two. You've slaughtered so far, thought the same. I lost. Just as expected, you aren't making my path an easy one. I must retreat for now. We'll meet again on the battlefield. So, you think you can escape, Edelgard? Your Highness! You're alive! We have to retreat to the Great Bridge of Murden. Rodrigue, what happened? That woman. We failed to capture her. I will keep pursuing. The rest of you, keep fighting! I'm so sorry, but we can't do that. I understand how you feel, but the Imperial Army is closing in. All right, Flash's betrayal. I'll kill all of them. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of them there are! 
There she is. <sighs> you! What are you doing here? It's too dangerous. Fall back. Now! <laughs> Your Highness! Oh, don't tell me that R Rodrigue is going to fucking sacrifice himself here. No! You are... Or did Dimitri just get stabbed? <laughs> oh, have I caught you off guard, your highness? Aww, does it hurt? I bet it hurts real bad, doesn't it? But it's nothing compared to what my brother felt. You will never be forgiven, you know. I will never forgive you! You... you must be... You filthy monster! It's time to die! Dimitri! <sighs> Damn it! Ah! Uh, professor! Do it now! Rodrigue! <laughs> Don't worry, you'll see him soon in hell. Rodrigue! Your Highness, are you safe? Please tell me it wasn't in vain. Man, not Rodrigue. He was cool. This punishment, it was mine to bear. There are no sins or punishments on the battlefield. No, don't die. Please, don't die. Father, stepmother, Glenn. They all died and left me behind. Roderick, are you to join the ghosts who shadow my every move? This is my fault. I, I'm the one who killed you, as surely as though I had wielded the blade. <laughs> Your Highness, you have one thing terribly wrong. None of them, none of us, died for you. I'm dying for what I believe in, just as they did. Your life is your own. It belongs to no other, living or dead. Live for what you believe in. Dimitri, my boy, you really do look just like his majesty. What are you saying, Lambert? I am heading to Dusker, and before you start, nothing you could say would change my mind. You worry too much, my friend. So far, relations with Dusker have been going smoothly, wouldn't you say? You, of all people, should appreciate how critical these negotiations are. Of course I do, but for the king himself to make the journey, you must admit that it's dangerous. And his highness is still so young. If the worst should happen, even if the worst should happen, he would be okay. He's a smart boy, Rodrigue. Even if he should lose his father, I have no doubt that he will grow to be a good and respectable man. Lambert. However, if he ever starts down the wrong path, and I am not here to set him straight, I am trusting you to do so in my stead, old friend. Promise me. I was struggling to hear who the VA for Lambert was at first, but then then it clicked. Yeah, that's that's Patrick, all right. Lambert, my promise. I. Rodrigue. What do you want? Where are you going? It doesn't concern you. It does. Get out of my way. No. You're going to Enbar, aren't you? Do you really think that will appease the dead? Silence! You have no idea what you're talking about. Death is the end. 
No matter how much lingering regret a person has, after death, they are powerless. They cannot even wish for revenge, much less seek it out. Hatred, regret... Those burdens fall on the shoulders of those who are left behind. And so I must continue down this path. I already told you as much. It is far too late to stop. You're wrong. Do not waste your breath with some nonsense about how I should move on with my life for their sake. That is merely the logic of the living. It's meaningless. Those who died with lingering regret, they will not loose their hold on me so easily. But you seem to have all the answers. So tell me, Professor. Please tell me. How do I silence their desperate pleas? How do I... How do I save them? Ever since that day nine years ago, I have lived only to avenge the fallen. Even my time at the officer's academy was also that I could secure my revenge and clear away the regret of the dead. It was the only thing that kept me alive. My only reason to keep moving forward. You must forgive yourself. But then who or what should I live for? Live for what you believe in. What I believe in? <laughs> Rodrigue said the same thing. But is it possible? I am a murderous monster. My hands are stained red. Could one such as I truly hope for such a life? As the sole survivor of that day, do I... Do I have the right to live for myself? Your hands are so warm. Have they always been? Part 2. Azure Moon. Harpstring Moon. The King's Triumphant Return. Following the death of Rodrigue, Dimitri begins to question his desire for revenge. His troubled mind turns to the Kingdom Capital and how he might end the chaos plaguing Fargus once and for all. Our victory at Drondor was certainly a turning point for us. However, Rodrigue's death has been difficult to bear. We've lost considerable military strength and resources. Yeah. Are there no lords we can rely on? Unfortunately, with things as they are now, I don't think House Gatia has any resources to spare. I'm sorry. I really wish we could help. If only House Galatea had anything to give. If we split up the soldiers currently defending the monastery, we should have sufficient numbers to invade the Empire. But even then... It'd be very risky. Your Highness, you should be resting. Your wounds are still healing. I am well, I assure you. More importantly, may I have a moment of your time? Thank you. I wish to apologize. To all of you. I have led you down this dark path with me, and have caused so much suffering along the way. 
I cannot tell you how sorry I am for my behavior. There is no apology I could offer that would be sufficient. <laughs> and how do you intend to make up for my father's death? Felix, I realize words alone are not enough to repent, but I fear they are all I have. I'm not after more empty words. I want you to speak through your actions. I know that no amount of regret can ever bring back the lives we have lost. I... I know that well. It is like patching up a tear with a different material. Things can never be as they were. The best I can hope for is to make things whole again. I wish to do the right thing from now on. That is why I have made a decision. I intend to take back the Kingdom Capital. I wish to save our people. Those who I turned my back on for far too long. To follow my heart and do the right thing. That is the only way I can atone for my sins. Your Highness. <clears throat> if we can win back Ferdiad, it will give us the advantage in our war against the Empire. As one who has served the royal family for ages, know that your words bring me great joy and pride. That said, I must point out that if we make for Ferdiad, the Emperor's head will slip further out of reach. Can you live with that? I still hold hatred in my heart for her, and for the ones responsible for the tragedy. That I will carry with me until death. But my life is my own. It belongs to no one else, and it is high time that I started living for what I believe in. Yeah, Dimitri. I will no longer allow the voices of the dead to bind me. This is something that I must do. No. Something that I am choosing to do. I will accomplish my aim, even if it means risking my life to do so. Understood, Your Highness. So, any objections? Count me in. You are correct. We cannot afford to die in vain by recklessly challenging the Empire. I'm worried about Lady Rhea. But if this is the choice you've made, I support it. I am at your command, Your Highness. I will follow you anywhere. My sword is at your service, Your Highness. I'll help too. The people in Ferdiad need us. Fine. I'll help you. In my father's stead. But in return, you must win. You know that, don't you, Dimitri? I do. And I swear on my father's lance that we will prevail. Then it is decided. It seems this war council has much to discuss. Our next stop is Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. For the future of Fargus. feels good. We're gonna go take back the capital. We've got a lot of prep to do, though. Looks like Dimitri's finally come out of his funk. So, yeah, now Dimitri can deepen his bonds again. I'm glad. I'm glad Dimitri's come back to us. Oh, I can finish uh, Bernie's mom with Felix. Flame just has one with Dimitri, right? Yeah, it's just everyone with Dimitri and then Bernie and Felix. Alright. Uh, we'll, we'll do these in the next episode along with our exploration. So, I will see you guys then. Bye!